I ask the question all the time, what does it mean to be a man? In our world today, there's a lot of things that we're being told as men that we have to do in order to look like a man, to be like a man. A lot of those things are external. All the things that we're being told about what a man is and who a man is doesn't actually have to do with their identity. It has to do with all of our possessions and all the things that we acquire for ourselves. I wanna offer you something different. If we want to examine a figure that's gonna teach us about true masculinity, then we should try to get the most perfect example possible. And that perfect person is Jesus because he was truly God and he was truly man and he was truly perfect. And so what did Jesus's masculinity look like? Christ was countercultural. He was not a man that a lot of people deemed in society was gonna be the best kind of man. He wasn't born into a powerful family. He didn't come from a lot of wealth. He wasn't super big and strong. Rather, he was born as a carpenter. He was born as a child as an infant and grew up to be the best man that the world has ever seen. Society wants us to be men that are just statues. They want us to be very, very stoic, to not show any emotion, and apparently that's what being a real man is. But when looking at Jesus, that's not who he was. Jesus was a deeply emotional person. At the tomb of Lazarus, when he died, Christ did not just say, hey guys, everything's gonna be okay, because he knew that he was gonna raise him from the dead, no. He wept because it was sad. When Jesus was on the road and a blind man said, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus was moved out of pity for that man. And he went to him and stooped down to him and he healed him. John, the beloved disciple, we hear about how John would just lay at the feet of Jesus and rest his head in his lap. You don't do that to someone who's just a statue. You want to feel comforted by someone who expresses love and expresses emotion. This is who we are meant to be as men. We're supposed to feel our emotions for the sake of the people around us. We are meant to be protectors. We are meant to be pillars to our communities, to our families, to our societies, but that does not mean that we have to be statues. That does not mean that we have to have hearts of stone. Rather, we need hearts of flesh to be able to tend to the emotions of our people. We need to be able to go down to them to experience their emotions and to feel what they feel so that we can lead them. That's what Christ did for us. And if we want to be good men like he was, then that's what we need to do. The primary vocation of every human heart is love. And so if we as men want to be able to love properly, then we need to know about our emotions as well as the emotions of other people. We have to be able to enter into their joys and into their sufferings to be able to lead them well. If we need help learning how to love, then we need to spend time with God who is love. Spend time with the man who did this perfectly, who loved perfectly, who expressed his emotions perfectly, and that man is Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please subscribe if you want more content like this, and check us out at thecultureproject.org for more information.